In this video, I'm going to show you how to bind the RAD grid view for WinForms to open access ORM objects. I'm going to be creating a RAD grid view that lists products from the AdventureWorks database. So as you can see, I've already created a basic WinForms application in advance. And the first step we're going to take is to create an entity diagram based on the AdventureWorks database. So to do that, I'm going to start out by right clicking on my project and select Add, New Item. I'm going to select the Data tab, and let's scroll down to Telerik Open Access Domain Model. And since we're going to be building a model based on the AdventureWorks database, let's call this AdventureWorks Entity Diagrams, and click Add. And as you can see, my connection is set to the AdventureWorks database, so I'll click Next. And this is going to retrieve the schema of the database, and it's going to allow me to select the tables I want to use to generate my model. So if I scroll down a little bit, I'm going to be using a table underneath the production namespace, and that's going to be the product table. So just to make this a, a little bit more realistic, I'm going to go ahead and select all of the tables from the production namespace to simulate what this model might look like in a real application. So now that I've done that, I'll go ahead and click Finish, and this is going to generate my diagram for me. And I'll go ahead and click OK and Reload. And let's take a look at our diagrams now. So here are our here is our open access entity diagram. As you can see here is the product table that we're going to be using to display products in our rad grid view. And here are several other tables and the relationships they have with other tables, uh, which might more realistically reflect how this model would look inside of a real application. So now that we've created our entity diagrams, I'm going to go ahead and close out of it. And let's switch back over to the Solution Explorer. And I'm going to jump back into the main form of our application. And let's drag out a RAD grid view from the toolbox. So I'm going to scroll down to RAD grid view, and drag that out into the main form. And let's resize that so it looks a little bit nicer. And now that that's set up, I'm just going to double click on the form and jump straight into the code behind. And this is where we're going to bind our open access objects to our rad grid view. So I'm going to say AdventureWorks Entity Diagrams, and we'll just call this Entities, and we'll create a new instance of it. And then after we do that, I'm just going to say rad grid view dot data source equals entities dot products. And that's going to retrieve all of the products from the AdventureWorks database. So now that this is set up, I'm going to click the Run button so we can take a look at the project in action. So here's our RAD grid view, and as you can see, it's now pulling back all of the products from the AdventureWorks database. And to do this, it's using that open access ORM entity diagram that we created. I'm actually generating the RAD grid view automatically, but if you'd like, you could use the Property Builder to customize the way your columns look, or you could add additional formatting and do several other things related to the look and feel of the RAD grid view. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to bind the RAD grid view to open access ORM objects. Thanks for watching.